Yeah. I had hey, a quick hey folks, Jack Wins here. We're live. We're playing Ark Survival Evolved with Sorcerer Von Croy, and we got to be quiet tonight because I don't want to disturb my son. I want him to have a peaceful night's sleep, so I'm going to be a little quieter. Hopefully, I'm audible. Other than that, uh, let's have some fun. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. What not? You're going to be sleeping to the young one. And yeah, he's what, 12. No. He's 12. He can tolerate a little noise, but uh, I still want him to have a peaceful, nice sleep. Well, understandable. Very understandable. I think good night's sleep is always a good thing. Yep. It's important. It's an important thing. Um, yes, it is. Okay, let's see what to do. That's a good question. I still have more of the map to uncover, but... Other than that. Then there's all sorts of caves and stuff, and plus I did some reading mm -hmm. to uh, find out more about the holiday event. And essentially we have to look for uh, Easter Dodos, Easter Bunny Dodos, and uh, Over Raptors. Mm. And collect their eggs that they drop. And you can do the crafting of different holiday type goods here and there, depending on the number of eggs and stuff that one collects. Okay. So we just have to keep our eyes open for the possibility of a, a bunny eared dodo or something to that mm. effect or over raptor. Yeah, I found one. That was quick. Bunny dodo. <laughs> hey, dodo bunny bunny dodo. Yep. A bonodo. And I got one of its eggs. Oh, nice. That was quick. Yeah. Our first Easter egg. Oh, another egg. Thank you. Bunny dodo. Oh, a third egg. Oh, wow, they're definitely very giving from the sounds of it. Yeah, there's two of them right, that I see right now. Fourth egg. Oh, my. I'm just a little bit to the, let's, uh, to the northeast of the base. Yeah, I saw you flying off that direction. Oh, man, there's like a dime a dozen of these things, eggs. All over the place. Uh -huh. Let's see how well, many have I got already. In the few seconds, so seven of them. Seven of them already. It's probably it's probably got to get a lot of them to get anything good. Yeah, then we'll have to pick a spot to set up a a, a standard cook pot because I don't think we can do holiday recipes in the uh, industrial yeah. industrial cooker we have to have one of those regular type uh campfire cooker like mm -hmm. looking thing yeah i got nine already ten jeez you're just laying them like crazy it's, a, it's an easter egg hunt too. They're all colored egg, rainbow, like uh, rainbow colored. Oh, that's cool. That's definitely one of the, the perks of ARC is the fact that they always have the really awesome holiday event type things mm. depending on the holiday. Always adds nice little perks. Okay, looks like those ones are petted. These ones are petted. Let's see, I got 15 of them already. 16. Jeez. They're just laying them like, like there's no tomorrow.
Yeah, I, I guess I could spend an hour walking behind this dodo just picking up eggs. <laughs> probably. It's probably a very easy thing to do. Especially since dodos are nice and docile and you don't have to worry about them fighting back. Mm -hmm. Nineteen already. Twenty. Could we put and yeah, we could squeeze one right between the bunk bed that we have here and that or we could put it right there in the corner corner but then the light would probably be semi in the way Well, it would still work there in the corner, I think. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like I'll be working. I'll be um, streaming, uh, doing a birthday stream tomorrow because I gotta work. Um, oh. So, and then Monday I gotta work too. So it could be could be a few days before I can do my birthday stream. My birthday. Well, that's understandable. I'm sure you'll be able to fit it in there. Figured at least a 12 hour stream. That's a definite good length. Yeah. Maybe we'll start on my, uh, I'll finish Kingdom Come Deliverance and uh, start my private save. The one where I cheated a little bit and maxed out the character. Ah. Uh. Got on hardcore with all the all the negative perks, and, but I got all the positive. I've got all the stats maxed out. So, let's see how that goes. A fully maxed out character in that probably be a brutal start for anything that tries to go against you. Right, it'd probably be less less like, oh my god, it'd be a lot better. In the yeah, you'd be less murdered, and you'd yeah. be more murdery. Yep. Or it'd be like, oh, you want to thwart my plans. No, not going to happen today, poke. You hit them once with the sword and they fall over. So. <laughs> okay, we have no stone now. Oh, I'm going to have to go get some stone. We can't build a normal style cooker without some stone. Luckily, right here at base, there's like stone on the ground, and there's also great big stones. <sighs> wow, 172 stone with one freaking axe chop. <laughs> All right, I think I think 36 eggs is a good start. I'm going to take a break from collecting eggs. Understandable. That is a lot of eggs too. Yeah. Wow. Now, if it would just have been if it would be that easy, would have been that easy for me as a kid when they were like, "Okay, we're going to have the Easter egg hunting event." And yeah. What not in IRL and everyone's trying to find the eggs and stuff like that. You're lucky if you walk away with two or three. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the needs of thatch and wood, which I do think we have. Are we minus on thatch and wood too? Here we go. 
thatch on something. No, you can't put the Easter eggs in the refrigerator. Might be able to possibly put them in normal storage or in uh, the preserving bin, possibly. They'll go into the preserving bin. But they, they already have a 13-day um, life in, in your inventory, so. And it's the same in the preserving bin. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, potentially right here would be an okay spot, or over here. Which do you think would be a good spot for the uh, um, standard cooker? Well, we don't really use that bug bed, uh, uh, bunk bed, so that that'd be fine, I guess, over here somewhere. Well, kind of will, but uh, okay, there we go. That would work. Let me see if I can make uh, anything with it. Holiday, yes. Need some wood in there. Yeah, things are more detailed. I remember before, these just look like regular brown sticks, and now there's like more, a lot more detail to them. Am I going crazier? Is my system working better? Did they do updates to the game that I'm not aware of? <laughs> It's a saddle attachment. Oh. Okay, so I just made accidentally made Easter egg bunny ears for a saddle. So a dino. Um, yeah. There's also Easter egg bunny hat for you, but I, I made the wrong one. Uh, let's. Who's gonna wear it? Uh, I know. Judas. Yep, that, that's, oh, perfect. that's perfect. That's <laughs> perfect. Oh, that is awesome as heck. <laughs> I like how they wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> we should put them on a uh, T Rex or something. That would be funny. Oh, this, yeah, this ought to be fun to see. <laughs> Perfect. Easter time. Oh, that is so cool. They are so huge and massive. <laughs> yep, Lex is e Lex is eating, uh, is celebrating Easter while he eats you. Yep. Lex looking for the cream filling. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the cream filling? There's supposed to be cream filling in this new here, human. <laughs> Then another T Rex is like squeeze the belly and <laughs> Let, let's see what it looks like on a on a Manamagar. Oh that ought to be cool.
The dawning of the Easter Bunny. Ears on Maiden Maker. Oh, come. Okay. Actually, color wise, matches perfectly. Mm -hmm. Except, Spellbound is kind of like, why are you making me wear this? <laughs> But that is absolutely perfect. Perfect match, color scheme wise. Uh -huh. Spellbound is perfect holiday creature indeed. In fact, didn't we have Spellbound born around that holiday time? Or Christmas, from yeah. something that we collected during holiday? That's possible. Because I think that's where we got some of the X. Yeah, it was the love event, I believe. Valentine's Day. It wasn't Day, Valentine's, yeah. it was Christmas or something. Mm -hmm. It was definitely something. One of the holidays that we've experienced so far. So what do you oh, think? Look at that. Are you seeing that uh, Argentivus over here? Yeah, he's going to get, he's going to aggro on something and they're going to go nuts. That's rare for an Argentivus, a wild Argentivus, to be over here. Yeah, what level is it? Only a 14, unfortunately. Yeah. Not really worth and, the effort. Yeah, it will aggro eventually on something near here. But that's extremely rare for an Argentivus to actually come over this far. They normally stay up on the mountains. My cute little nuggling there. So. <laughs> How many eyes does this guy have? Is that like four eyes, I think? I think it I think it's cutest on Lex. Cutest on Lex? Yeah. Yeah, Lex grins when he wears it. Lex grins when he wears it. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. And scary at the same time when you see a happy grinning T-Rex. That's mm -hmm. kind of like, uh-oh. Um, he's grinning for a reason. Explosive. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Remote explosive. <laughs> explosive. Right. Easter egg head skin. Sweet spear carrot skin. Bunny hop dance emote. A uh, peep hat. Easter chick hat skin. So you got a saddle, and then there's the human. The human one is the have, first one, and then the other one is uh, second the second one. The saddle type? Yeah. 
We need a lot more eggs, though. Yep. Needs upwards depending on what you're creating. So far, the highest I've seen is 50. There's one that's 100. Uh, there's one that's 100? Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, it looks like a full suit. Easter Bunny costume skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like its fat little chubby belly there. <laughs> yep. That's definitely fun. Very, very fun. Oops, I accidentally hit the K key there. I was like, oh, wait, why am I seeing my face? <laughs> mm. That's because when you hit the K key, it automatically turns the camera around looking at you. already be active. The one petted that one recently. This one's petted. These two are petted. Bobolt's walking around. Cobalt was about to get himself stuck in the barn. Oh, hey, is that one of those Easter Bunny Dodos? Mm -hmm. Yep, this Easter Bunny Dodo is probably going to get eaten, though, if it gets too close to Cobalt. Buddy Dodo 33. Not this way. Turn around. Don't want you getting eaten. Sorry, Cobalt. <laughs> this one's not on the menu. If I happen to be here, but if I'm not here, then, well, fate be it. Holy crap, they're like all over the beach. I see what you mean by them being everywhere. I'm amazed I didn't see these right. as I was doing anything the other day when I was like out collecting meat or whatnot. But then I was also on a Manamagar or other creature. Poor Dodo is going to get itself eaten. <laughs> hey, I finally got a head skin where you can see my luscious hair. Oh, nice. Now, how did you manage to keep your helmet colored while having uh, a hat on it, on your... I don't know. I just put, take the hat on, the skin on or off, and it stays colored. Yeah, because my helmet, unless I didn't color my helmet, you might not have maybe I didn't color helmet. my helmet. The 
maybe I need to color my helmet. Oh, yeah, that is great. You finally have visible hair with the bunny ears. They look good on you. Thank you. Uh-oh. There goes a bunny dodo. Dodo bunny. That's one less bunny dodo in the world. Yep. Oh, hey, guess who's a, Here's on one. the property? The Argentivus has decided to land. Except the T-Rex is moving very slowly. Let's see if I can increase its speed. By right, getting on it. Oh, there. there we go. Hello, Argentivus. Meet Cobalt. Cobalt wins. Yep. <laughs> and Cobalt's going to get himself stuck in the barn. Or end up on the complete opposite side of the base. One of the two. That's a good cobalt. Go the proper direction. How much meat did you get? Two primes okay. and, and uh, 68 regular. Oh, that's not bad. Probably the prime came from the dodo. Possibly. Since it was a special holiday, Dodo. Possibly. Although that would encourage you to kill it. Okay, there's someone in the chat. Let's Hello, see. Hello, someone in the chat. Uh, the gaming. Reindeer. Oh, yes, I do remember you. Uh, Easter is going well. It's been a while since I've seen you around there. Uh, gaming reindeer. Oh, and Feral is in the chat room, too. Uh, Feral is uh, someone who almost always stops by and lurks, which is awesome of them. My best lurker. There we're now back up to 17 Easter eggs in the Easter bin. I think I've made everything I'm gonna make. So you're free to use the eggs. Two weeks off, nice. Uh, two weeks off of school is always awesome. I always enjoyed those particular holiday breaks like that. And then of course the unfortunate thing in school would always start back up again would never fail. And I lived in a school district where they were like, it has to have like 15 feet of snow before we call off. <laughs> and we could have like two or three feet of snow in like a matter of hours and they'd still make us go. Mm -hmm. I was here, like, here you get an itch and they freak out. Yeah, I'd believe it. It's not an area where it's as common. And folks probably aren't as used to driving in it. Nope, no, they, they are well, not. Well, so it kind of like probably shuts your area down for a short bit while people are adjusting. Now, it does have to be a short stream because I got to get up and make breakfast in the morning. So, yep. I'm sorry I'm late. Sorry I was late, but like I said, the birthday party went longer than yep. expected. Understandable. Holiday season as well as birthday and you know, stuff like that. So, it's like the planet right now is kind of celebrating with you a little bit this year, especially since it falls on the exact day. Right. That's cool. Human and dino. Bunny eared. <laughs> That's cute. In Zealand, get terms between terms. You have two week break. Uh, then have Christmas holiday, which is seven weeks. But I don't care about that. Uh,
or don't know about you when you were growing up. Okay, the way our school system would work is we have semesters, which is probably very similar to uh, your school terms. However, our breaks usually only happen during holidays, and the only times we get like special extended holidays is like larger. Wow. T-Rexes can run fast when they need to. Mm -hmm. But like for Christmas would probably be the longest holiday we get other than summer break. Uh, we usually have summers off in the States. Um, mm -hmm. Unlike the rest of the world where a lot of the rest of the world continues with school even during summer. But you will be given, depending on the country you're in, a two to three week summer break. But for us, we get like three months off for summer. Then uh, if we have like a particular holiday, we might get a three day weekend, maybe a four day weekend. And then bigger holidays like stated, uh, like Christmas, usually end up with a bit bigger one. And I think Thanksgiving also had a typical slight bigger one. I think Thanksgiving was at least a week off, and then and or a, an extended weekend to a week. Christmas would be two to three weeks. And then we would have uh, Easter, which that would typically be a weekend to a week off. Spring break is usually two weeks that's a given for almost any school district in the states and those are our main holiday times that i recall from when i was in school so when it would come to the holidays the longest one is of course christmas as that also goes like into the new year as well for about the first week of the new year so it's like two weeks before Christmas or before the end of the year and then a week or so, give or take plus or minus several days. Because it always varies slightly as to the exactitude of that. I kind of miss the school days, but at the same time, I don't long to have them back, but I do miss the uh, regimented lifestyle that is kind of generated from school day time curriculum. Yeah, the average two week breaks for us don't happen that often when it comes to our school, but then of course we get all of our break via the extended summer holiday or whatever you would want to call summer, as that of course being three months long. But then the downside to it is we don't get as well educated as some other countries because they take that time to educate and we kind of like force feed ourselves our stuff super fast and then we forget it all <laughs> i wouldn't want to give up summer vacation that was a great part of childhood uh... yeah i agree i i definitely would not want to give up summer vacation though because that was always the one thing that we always looked forward to mm -hmm. was you know no more books no more teachers dirty looks <laughs> uh, the good old heavy metal song. Ghouls out forever. Ghouls out for summer. Ghouls out forever. Yeah, I loved that song. That was always a favorite theme that would be played on a, out of almost everybody's car that had a cassette deck. Yes, back in the day, cars you had these things called cassette. Didn't have a CD player, it had a cassette deck. <laughs> or an 8-track. 
or some of the friends I had, they actually had mm. cars that had eight track pointer. Or radios that didn't have be, anything except the radio. Be, what's that? Radios that didn't have anything except just the radio. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Cars that only had the radio and no attachments, no nothing else. Mm -hmm. Just the radio itself, an on, an off, a volume knob, and a thing to adjust uh, your frequency mm -hmm. and your uh, band, whether it be AM or FM or so on and so forth, and that would be it. And it wasn't push button, it was turn dials and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> Or real buttons. An old Mercedes. So you know, yeah. Is that a... No, that's just purple because of our base. I was like, wait a minute. Is that a holiday colored rock? But nope, that's just because our base happens to be purple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our lighting is purple and our... Our violet and our color scheme is red and black. Yep. Color scheme red and black on our uh, doors and ramps. Our lighting is purple. We're kind of like a glorified dino rave. Mm. Like we got the perfect floor up here for doing emote dancing on top of here. <laughs> I forget we what's have the emote key. It'd be like a disco floor up here. We had some blinky, flashy lights, but the game doesn't have blinky, flashy lights. Yeah, dance, rave, party session. I forget what the emote key is. Uh, I don't even recall. I don't think we've ever even had any reason to even use the emote thing. <laughs> emote key is left bracket. Left bracket. And right bracket. Uh, you shake your head. Well, let's see. Okay, you hold in order to bring up the wheel. Okay, hide hat. Clap. Sweet. Let's see. Get a better view of that if I can. Okay. Bracket key me. That's an interesting style salute. Hide hat. Oh, can hide the helmet.
Seems like I just got here, but it's about time to go already. Just a heads up. I got about 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. And when you don't have a lot of it. Brew. Sticks. Steal something. Bork seems to be having issues. What's going on with Quark? Why is he, he, she, it doing that? I'll be taking that club back, you evil pigomestics. Okay, you're saying uh, Cork is having an issue? He was he was half in outside of the outside of the hangar. Oh wow! I don't know why he moved in the first place. Well, I heard uh, a whistle happen somewhere. Yeah, but I wasn't facing him, and it wasn't oh, him that got it, got it. I canceled it as soon as it happened. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe it was him I got. Even I accidentally did the same thing right as you were joining. I accidentally called upon uh, Terra here and whatnot because I was looking in just the right direction. It's an easy accidental thing to do. Mm -hmm. Let's see, behavior, order enable. Da, 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 da. Ah. Stance is set to aggressive, or we'll reset to passive. Hmm. There. Better check the other May wings just to be safe. Anybody else on the weird behavior setting, I wonder? Well, looks like so far just... Uh... Yep. Looks like just... Uh... Just cork. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, his T key when I was looking at the um, grill, so I didn't think it would affect cork because cork would be behind me at that point. Yeah, the game acts weird. Aggression level passive. Oh, all you have to do is actually look at them with the. Uh, and it tells you if they're passive or not. I've always yeah. like looked in the menu. Right. Dude, gee, George, it's super. It's always awesome when you learn something that makes it more easy to understand what's going on. Right. But then I am visually impaired, so. Yeah. I don't usually look at text like other folks do sometimes. And especially if I'm like quickly moving around doing stuff. Mm -hmm. I look at the important stuff, and if it's just like something like that. But now that I know that it's there, it's going to be a thing that I don't unsee. But that's a good not unsee, because that way I can know who's what. Mm -hmm. so by looking. Oh, it looks like Jeff has level ups. Uh, Poopasaurus has level ups. Okay. Oopasaurus, that's my monkey. Yep. Oh, 
the lower flight deck where the uh, uh, pterodons are. Took me a quick second to remember the word pterodon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I named mine pterodactyl. Yep. So it it makes it easier and wiser. And let's see here, and Tribe Blood, and Igora have level ups. And then I think also your Equus has level ups. Which one's Jeff? Uh, Jeff is uh, Nate's. Oh, okay. That's why I don't recognize him. Yeah. 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 The Zeb has level up. So before you run off, run around real quick and check your levels. Mm -hmm. Leon and the Lion. Hey, Feral the Wolf has a level up. quick it was fun should s I, I'm working tomorrow but I should see you tomorrow night Juan. Oh, all right twitch till next time have a good night bye